This is an AI agentic workflow that I built in literally 10 minutes with six or seven AI agents actually built into it. And I often find using platforms like make.com or NA10, they can be quite complicated. You can lose hours or they can just be overwhelming if you're not sure what you're doing. Well, this is a platform that takes all the complexity away and automates the whole process so you can actually automate your life and your business in a matter of minutes. So I'll show you how you can get started and walk you through how this one runs and the output at the other end. So if you go to your workflows area of this tab, you can actually create a new workflow. And this is where all the magic happens because you can just tell it what you wanna build and have it generate with AI. You can chat with an AI window to actually go through and discuss the build. You can import from JSON, you can start from scratch and build it yourself, or you can browse all the templates that they have already built out on MindPout. So you can see there's so many options already here. It's expense categorizer, uh, website to TikTok video, content idea brainstormer. So you can use these workflows and agents within your work as well if it's just there ready for you, as well as a community marketplace where you can actually build, sell, buy, use other people's free offerings that they've created. Now, in terms of my workflow, which we just built, it actually builds out the workflow and then we'll go through it. So you can see it starts with my user input. So this is simply like I said, I want to give you some text either from a YouTube transcript or some other work I've done that I've maybe brain dumped and I want to give it to like actually lead what the resource could be about and the information included in it. Now I could actually make that into a drop a YouTube video in there if I wanted to make it even more smoother as well, just the link. And then it goes off and takes that information and actually brainstorms the idea. And you can see the way this is built. It actually then the next step in the workflow actually pulls an agent. So in this section, we've actually got, you can see here, lead magnet idea generator is our agent. So it's actually running multiple agents through this workflow. You can see it gives it some background. We've given it an output format about what we actually want it to output for the next stage of our, our workflow. Um, we can even actually, I haven't got to this yet, but we can add knowledge sources. So in your settings, you can add a knowledge source, my expertise, or even from books or all sorts of places to actually draw, draw from and some notes, as well as selecting um, output settings, what language models we want to use. So we can actually get it running on Gemini 2.5 Flash or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can choose your different models in there and go into some sub agents. Then we've got a human in the loop step because I don't want it to just go off and start doing things without my approval. So this is a step where actually I say, this is the idea I want to use, move on to the next task. Again, we go through the same process with uh, titles, and then it's going to go into conducting research. Now, what's cool is it's keeping all that information that we've chosen from before the idea the title and then it's going to go and actually break down information common challenges statistics to actually bring more information along with my expertise and we can see we've got a lead mag a lead magnet research specialist now what's cool is you can create these individual agents yourself but actually if you don't want to do that and you want to get most of the work done by MindPow, when you're creating the workflow you can either have it selected to add agents that you've already created from elsewhere in previous workflows, or you can get it to create whole new ones. So it's creating the agents as you go along as well. I'll show you in a second how that would work. And then you can see generate lead magnet outline content, review and refine, and then it's going to give me final human approval. And before we run it, I'll just show you that uh, process of generating with AI. Let's say um, we could say we want to have an, a workflow and agents that research topics for YouTube, come up with video ideas and script a new video. Now, when you hit generate with AI, it's going to go and build that workflow for you to give you your outline, which you can adjust. So you can see here, it quickly builds our outline of what we actually need to do in our workflow and where we need to add agents. In here, you can see select agent. We can select other agents that we've built in the past. You can see I've, I've tried to make quite a few and different things and test different things out. Or if you just leave it blank, it creates them automatically for you. If you're not quite happy with this outline, you can regenerate it and obviously tweak it in the next steps as well. But in our workflow, for example, let's show you how this runs. So we hit the run button and then we basically got a form to actually start using user expertise description. So I could actually type something. I could just brain dump my thoughts in here. Or what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna give it a transcript of one of my YouTube videos about how to prompt AI really well. And we can even change the way it runs. We can say run in the background or we can say run supervised so we can check approval before each step. But we've actually built those human approvals into our 
run. So we can put that information in there. That's my expertise that's going to go and work off to build our lead magnet ideas. So you can see here, it's starting to think, it's starting to come up with the ideas first. And it has given us seven lead magnet ideas as we requested based on the crispy framework for AI prompting. So you can see it's coming up with ebook ideas, template downloadable PDFs, a webinar idea, interactive check checklists and spreadsheets. These are awesome, like toolkits, all the sorts of things you would imagine them to be. So we could actually just go with this first one and like, let's say we actually quite like this one. I need to perfect this a little bit because I need to, it would be easier if I could just select which one I was, but we're just going to copy and paste the text for this particular one until we've refined it a little bit more. But bear in mind, it took me minutes to make this, this workflow basically. And again, now it's got the, what the sort of angle is. We're going to go and get our titles. So we could pick our favorite title from here. Now what's interesting is it's going through multiple tasks. It's got an agent running through multiple tasks as to the research and building the content outline for our lead magnet before it goes on to writing it. So it's not just plowing straight on. It's actually taking a second to research, gather everything together and build our outline before we actually go into the content creation stage. And once it's got all of its research and its framework and all of my expertise, it's actually built out our ebook on how to write amazing prompts for chat GPT and similar platforms. You see here, it's got all the breakdown. It's got the different steps, how to implement them. Everything you need based on the video that I made, we could actually tag this along and say, hey, you can get this in an ebook to refer to anytime you're trying to write great prompts, as well as adding more information about, you know, the data behind how you can improve your prompting. And what's cool is at the end, we have a final human approval. So I have the ability to offer notes for revisions if I want. So we could actually say we want to change it, which actually there are some things I need to change in here. But for the sake of this video, we'll hit approve lead magnet and continue and get it to finish off everything that's confirmed. It's all ready to do to export and start using as we need. So that's really awesome. Now, the other cool things about MindPow are the assets you can add. So you can actually add in your own knowledge sources. So actually, instead of me even putting stuff into that lead magnet, area like my knowledge i could actually upload it into my knowledge sources and get it to start using i creating ideas based straight off my knowledge source which i could keep updated if i'd written a book or i just wanted to dump all my transcripts in there that would work added notes we can put in there brand voice is a really cool one because we could actually give it more of an outline of how we want it to write and we could also pair that with different ai models like hey we're writing some content in this stage so let's use claude in this section rather than open ai and you can add in your API keys if you don't want to use the off options direct through MindPower, which use up your, your credits and your storage. And there's some added tools as well. So you can actually link other APIs as well through to other tools. So this is actually a pretty powerful platform that for beginners or you're wanting to create your first AI agents or even chatbots, then it's a really, really easy way to get started in just a few clicks to actually build a workflow that is actually going to deliver decent efficiency gains in your business. You can see all the stuff that's actually click and ready to go off the bat. Even if you have contracts to reviews, a BANT sales qualifier, it's all already in here. Turn messy thoughts into content. That might be a really useful one for a lot of people who just brain dump and they want to actually turn their thoughts into emails, LinkedIn posts, X posts. That's going to be really awesome.